If you're a big swim team and you like to order a lot of gear, maybe you ought to check out Swim Outlet Team Division for these reasons. Swim teams receive a 10% discount on bulk orders. Swim teams or organizations get an 8% commission on referred sales. You'll also like their customization services, which is affordable and available at all times during the year for all team gear. With over 50,000 items in stock, you can get most anything you want. Swim Outlet Team Division. You need to try it out. You'll be glad you did. This is the Morning Swim Show for Friday, January 18th, 2013. I'm your host, Jeff Cummings. Today in the Finis Monitor, we'll talk to Vlad Morozov. The junior at the University of Southern California took the fall semester off from collegiate competition to race internationally, winning the short course world championship titles in the 50 and 100 freestyles. Now he's back racing for the Trojans in preparation for the March NCAA championship. And Morozov joins us now from Los Angeles. Vlad, good to see you. How are you today? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. You know, it, I just can't believe you're a junior at USC. It seems like yesterday that you were just this high school high school senior that was doing all these amazing times, and now you're an Olympic bronze medalist, short course world champion. I mean, where is the time gone? I know, right? Time's just flying by. So uh, you've been good in the pool the past couple of years. Like we said, you were a national high school record holder in the 1500 free and doing well at the NCAA championships, but it seems like after March, all of a sudden, things just really took off for you. I mean, you got the bronze medal at the Olympics on the relay and then just really took off at World Championships where you won both of those titles, which I wouldn't say was unexpected, was just kind of a, a tiny surprise. Um, did something change drastically for you in these past few months? Uh, I mean, of course, the biggest change for me was that I started uh, competing for Russia and I started in training. And there is probably the biggest changes that I've done with, uh, were with my technique. You know, if you look at the uh, videos of me swimming, let's say like two years ago, and the videos of me swimming at European and World Championship, it's like it's like a whole new swimmer, you could say. Um, in Russia, I've been working a lot on the stroke and on the ways that I just swimming, basically, um, just doing a lot of different drills. So that really played a big part. So I think that if I weren't really training there. If I weren't working on all those stuff, I wouldn't be able to show such great times that I did at uh, past World Championships. Yeah, I will have to agree. Your stroke did look different when we were watching you at the World Championships. So specifically, was there one major thing that, that got changed? I'd say it's probably a lot of small, different things. Uh, because swimming in Russia is really different, I'd say, if not the opposite, uh, training-wise. You know, they do a lot of yardage. They do a lot of... Uh, uh, work and technique uh, because there's much less swimmers as there are in the U.S., uh, let's say. Uh, so they kind of have to take one swimmer and work with him. They have to get to know him better than themselves. And uh, that's basically what they did for me. Uh, they did a lot of uh, testings and they looked at my stroke precisely and they told me what I need to do in order to be faster in the water. And I did that. And Probably the most surprising thing that it took only about two to three weeks before European Championships to do all of those changes. So I was really glad that they could help me so much. Well, you left Russia, as, as a lot of people know, about four or five years ago, moved to Southern California. Uh, so what was it like to be back in Russia training with those guys? Uh, well, I wasn't really training with a lot of the national uh, guys who are on the national team. I was training with my club, uh, Volga. Uh, there's only a couple of the guys who are on the national team, but it was a huge change. Uh, as as I said again, it was just different training, uh, yard yardage wise and technique wise. But it actually kind of hurt me prior to the Olympics because uh, I used to training kind of like uh, more powerful stroke, doing a lot of power work, doing a lot of work at the gym. But when I went to Russia before the Olympics. Uh, with my coach, we kind of did this a little mistake where I did more yardage and I kind of lost my power. So I wouldn't say I was in the best shape at the Olympics, but then after that, we discussed that a lot with my coach there and we had fixed those changes before um, the Europeans and Worlds, as you could see. Well, if you weren't in the best shape at the Olympics, it, it's got to say a lot of good things for you that you were able to swim so well and help Russia get a bronze medal. I mean, knowing that you didn't feel like you were in the best shape, I mean, were you surprised that um, you and the three other swimmers were able to, to uh, get together and get that medal? 
Oh, of course, I was really happy for that medal, uh, and I was I was actually happy with the time of forty seven eight in that relay. Uh, I could say that I deserved the medal, uh, but I think there's still a lot of things that I could work on in order to be better in long course because short course uh, there's a lot of turns and turns are probably the best thing that I can do, and I need to fix my technique a little more in order to be better in long course. So there are some things that I could work on. And what was behind your decision to take the fall season off at USC to, to do all this international competition? Uh, well, there was kind of this mistake that our coaches made. Uh, they took one extra guy uh, for this year, one extra recruit. I'm not sure exactly what the story was, but basically what we needed to do is to have two guys to sit out this semester in order to be able to uh, compete next semester, uh, meaning this semester. Uh, so uh, Dave came up to Dima and me, and then he asked if we were okay with sitting out one semester. And we were perfectly fine with that because we just came back from the Olympics and we just wanted to get some break uh, from school and stuff. So I'm happy that it all worked out like that. Well, I would say it worked out very well. I mean, those two gold medals yeah. at Short Course Worlds, you can't, can't beat that. <laughs> Definitely. Well, let's talk about short course worlds real quick. 1500 freestyle, win the gold medal. Pretty much, I mean, obviously the 50, I think, was probably the bigger one because you were up against Florent Manadou, the reigning Olympic champion. Mm -hmm. um, of those two races, the 1500 free, which one were you most proud of? Uh, definitely the 50 freestyle, of course. As you just said that Olympic medalist, to be able to beat an Olympic medalist in the event right after the Olympics. I mean, I was really happy with that, and uh, to tell you the truth, like a couple of days, the day before the 50, I, I was not really mentally ready for it. I thought that uh, I'm probably going to lose the 50, which usually usually athletes can't think like that. They, they should always think that they're going to win it, but actually a couple of days before, I thought that I don't really have that much chance, especially after he beat me after Europeans, but... Uh, I swam, I remember I swam in semifinals, the 50 freestyle, and then uh, my coach realized, my coach in Russia, Viktor Avdienko, uh, he realized that I kind of picked up my stroke, my tempo, and I was kind of ripping the water, you know, not swimming with the proper technique. And then right after prelims, I kind of tried to change the technique, change it in finals, and really everything worked out for the best. My start, my turn, they were all perfect, you could say, so there, this time came off, off of that. So with all the stuff that you did over the fall season, doing a little technique work in Russia, um, are you still able to apply all that now that you're back in Los Angeles? Uh, not really. Uh, another reason that I was happy to take the semester off was because I wanted to train a little bit differently in the weight room um, because we're not allowed to train in the weight room with the USC team while we're taking the semester off. Uh, Dimitri and I were training just on our own. So we were kind of going into the weight room, basically maxing out like one or two days a week, one or two times a week. And uh, I think it worked out uh, perfectly for me, especially for long course. But I'm not sure if I should do that right now for long course because it's, it's different. You know, it's like two different sports, short course and long course. So I'm not sure whether I want to do it. And I basically, I, I can't really do it because I have to work out with the UEC team and the weights are really different. So, given all that, how do you feel uh, looking ahead to the NCAA championships? Well, right now I'm just concentrating on doing well in school. It's obviously really tough to get back in after eight months of not being in school. So, and just trying to concentrate on working, uh, doing my best in the water as well. So, I'm not thinking about anything else but that for now. Are you? Have you picked your major yet? I actually did just yesterday. I picked economics. Finally, economics. Okay. I, I, I was all over the place in the last two years, but I'm glad that I'm finally settled with that. Yeah, you're not the only college student who's all over the place the first two years, and you know they kind of give you that time to really figure things out. So, with an economics major, what do you think you're going to you would use that for maybe down the road as a career? I'm not really sure. Uh, I was planning to major in business, actually, when I first came to USC, but I couldn't get into the school because my GPA wasn't as high. It say it has to be 3.5 or something like that. Uh, but economics is probably the second closest to business, and I was able to get into that easily, so I picked that because of that. 
Well, how does it feel to be back in Los Angeles, not only training with USC, um, you know, you've been, like you said, you were away with, from them for a few months. Mm -hmm. It feels great. I mean, the weather especially. Uh, I came back to Russia in the winter, first time in the last seven years. So I got that taste of what is winter like in Russia and Siberia for a little bit and kind of remember that. But yeah, it definitely feels great and especially it feels great to join the USC team. And I can't, I'm looking forward to uh, competing in NC 2 ace and doing our best there. So. Well, I think you're doing pretty well. I mean, you went 19-5 uh, and 50 last weekend against Wisconsin. Based on kind of where you ha where you were previously, where you are now, how do you think that time stacks up for you? I was actually really surprised with that time as well. But the reason I think that I was able to show, show such time is because I'm still a little bit shaved. You know, it's been, it hasn't been that long of a time since World Championships. And plus, uh, those changes in technique that I made, uh, they also played a big part. But I'm not sure. I I can't really say what I'm going to go this year. And also, I have another problem that we have in C2As. And then three weeks after that, I have uh, World Championship trials in Russia. So I'm not sure whether I'll be shaving again or not or just clipping. I'm not sure. So... That's another big decision that I have to make soon. Well, that is a big decision. As we know, I mean, Russia has a lot of great sprint freestylers, so you can't just show up and just kind of be half tapered. You got to you gotta yeah. pretty much bring your, your A game if you want to make that team. Yeah, exactly. And last year, I didn't shave for in C2As because of the Olympic trials, and it was still tough at the Olympic trials. Uh, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. It's, it's going to be a tough decision. I'm sure. Well, kind of... Uh, Springboard off that question, obviously you're, you, you're going to be representing Russia at the World Championships this summer. Looking forward, are you going to continue to represent Russia or are you going to try again to uh, get your U.S. sports citizenship? Yeah, right now I'm, I'm sure I'm going to represent Russia. I just I don't think it would be a right thing to, uh, to switch to another, uh, to representing another country. So, And especially as I said again, I'm taking basically the best from the two countries. I'm training in the U.S. I'm doing this like power work, you know. I'm training in Russia, I'm taking the best from there, and uh, working on my technique. And I'm just kind of combining those two, and just that's where my times are coming from. So I'm really thankful. Uh, I'm really fa thankful for how this whole thing worked out for me. Yeah, I know it was it was kind of up in the air for a while there, uh, but I'm like a lot of people are probably. In the United States are probably not happy that you're going to be representing Russia, but I'm sure Russia is very happy you're going to be swimming for them. And uh, for me personally, I'm glad to just to see that you're able to uh, to be able to swim at the big meets. It's really kind of worked out for you, not just the Olympics, the World Championships. It was just um, I think a lot of people were really excited to see that you're really progressing so well. You must be really excited yourself. Yeah, exactly. I'm, uh, as I said again, I'm really glad that it worked out for the best for me. Well, we're looking forward to uh, seeing how this all works out for you in the next couple of months. Best of luck to you, and we'll be, uh, we'll be following yeah. you as we always do. All right, thanks. All right, we'll see you down the road, Vlad. See ya. All right, so that's Vlad Morozov joining us in the Finis Monitor, and that's going to do it for today's edition of the Morning Swim Show. As always, follow us on SwimmingWorld.com, Facebook, and Twitter for all the latest news. I'm Jeff Cummings. Thanks for watching.